All right, so this is basically, um, yeah, I'm just doing a video of um, my um, 1 to 69 book 4, I should say uh, book 4, 60, I'm just so used to doing 1, sorry, because I play um, uh, Ancients mostly with uh, DBA related stuff or when I did, so I don't know how much, I'm not going to get into, uh, here, I'll try to zoom in a little bit, um, I'm not really looking at the camera, so I'll try to be better. Um, so why did I get into DBA? Well, I got into DBA because at the time, uh, this is a while back, I was completely into miniatures. I was uh, painting up 1 to 72 scale plastic uh, miniatures for a game system by Sam Mustafa, <coughs> excuse me, uh, called LaSalle, the very first version. And it required, and I was doing uh, War of 1812 stuff, and it required a huge amount of uh, figures to be painted and um, uh, at the rate that I paint, I'm not, like, I'm the opposite of a speed paint, put it that way. And uh, so it was taking me a long, long time just to even field a minimal uh, sized army. And uh, I w always wanted to branch out into other things. I had seen people play DBA on Sunday, uh, one of the last events on Can Games, that type of thing. And I was always intrigued by the small number of uh, figures. I didn't know too, too much about it. So I went on YouTube, watched some stuff, uh, primarily from, uh, here's the, um, you know, I'll try to be a little bit, uh, yeah, maybe I'll have to do that. Hold on, I'll see if I can, sorry guys, I'm just, uh, I'm not a, I'm not a pr whatever person. Um, <clears throat> and I was watching a lot of videos by Tony Aguilar and um, just fantastic amount of material that guy's pumped out, it's just incredible. And uh, he uh, was interviewed by a friend of his, and um, just the way he explained DBA, and then he played with uh, his um, uh, his friend, who I should know, if, my God, I've heard his name uh, five trillion times, uh, and for some reason it's escaping me. My God, I can see him, you, you can hear him chuckle. Um, anyways, I just was convinced. I was like, okay, what? so anyways, I was like, you know why? This is why. I, you could field an army with 12, so here, I'm going to show you what the, what the, I don't want the glare that too much, I hope, it probably is. So that's essentially the book uh, for 1 to 69 army for the Albanians. And what it ended up being was, uh, it was a game system that, you know, it's just, it was very, it's very tournament based. I'm not going to get into the whole rule, like I wanted to show you primarily uh, these dudes. I'll try to bring it, maybe that's what I should be doing, um, or bring them closer, um, is that, um, it, yeah, it's tournament based, so I can, you could play, and, and it doesn't matter, like, what time period, essentially, because it's very abstracted, so um, each stand uh, is called an element, and you need 12 elements, uh, one of them being a general, like I said, I'm not going to get into the whole rule system, but what it was is it for me was uh, economy of uh, Chris. You paint. You take forever to paint, and uh, you want to get going and playing something. And uh, let's go. And I could start getting into it, uh, doing ancients. Well, this is an ancients. So what it ended up happening was with DBA is it's uh, book one to four. So they've divided up uh, the periods of history, uh, and so you could go like okay in book one if you only wanted to play book one type armies, it would be like you know Babylonians versus. Um, you know, the Assyrians or whatever, that type of stuff. Book two would be more like classical Roman, I think. Um, I, I don't, I've got, I think I've got one army in each one. And then book three would be more like, you know, I think uh, feudal type stuff, medieval, whatever. And then four, I th think would be more to, uh, so anyways, my very first army, because I wanted to play uh, at DBA and I didn't have time to paint. So I went and purchased the very, uh, the cheapest eBay um, one at the time that I could find. And it just happened to be the 1 to 72, I think it's 72, Serbian army. Well, we'll go take a look. I'm not going to show the whole thing, but that's the, um, that's the general that I got from some guy. He did a good job. I've actually, I think I purchased another army uh, from him afterwards. But afterwards, I wanted to, <coughs> excuse me, and 15 millimeter just seems to be the, um, extremely common anyways in DBA the way I play but there's still like a huge chunk of people that do 28 millimeter anyways so here's the purple book this is the most up-to-date uh, version as far as I know it's book three I think that's the last one you'll ever see I didn't get this at the time I have no idea what the availability is 
for these things. But I did pick this up, and if you can get it, I highly rec recommend this. This thing's got the whole nine yards. Um, here, I'll zoom out and try not to get the glare. So it's by uh, Phil Barker's wife, um, uh, Sue Laughlin Barker. She has a, it's a great intro. It is, it, it's really affordable. I, I like the portability of it. Um, it doesn't have all the armies, obviously. So each army is called like an army list. And, um, you know, she gives you the, some historical ones. And I'm just so lucky that they, um, she had uh, the one I would really love to do is Assyrians. So I was able to do that. But anyways, get back to this. I wanted to get, so there's, um, and they have in the list. I'm going to see if I can grab it from actually Sue Laughlin Barker's um, thing here. So for example, let's go to the Hiskos in Egypt if you can see it. I hope so. So you can see here it says like, uh, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to be doing a DBA thing. So you guys see like 1, 2B. So that would just say that um, that's in book 1, it's army list 2, and it's variant B. So there, there's probably an A, but she doesn't have it in here. So it's early Egyptian, tells you what the dates are, and then it says shows you here for the army list. So it'll be like 1 general would be a light chariot, and then you've got 4 archers, which would be solid bow. Uh, um, for these guys, and then two men fats. Uh, there's uh, and these are our abbreviations, so I'm going to get into it right now. And it, you know, obviously, different troop types give you different abilities, and so on and so forth. Uh, three blade, uh, uh, fast blades, and then uh, you can either have a javelin man or a quiver carrier, which would be a, a siloy or siloy skirmisher. Um, but it just they just show you how you you know you uh, want to set them up uh, the figures on the base kind of thing and then the medje or nubians uh, so the medje obviously I would assume would be the fast bow and then the nubians would be the uh, skirmisher types and then the uh, the two conscripts would be a seven horde or, or solid horde sorry and uh, then your bedouin slingers or your libyan javelin men uh, some more sling. Uh, uh, skirmisher types and then your terrain type so when you go go to set up and, and select uh, what type of terrain you're going to have and then the aggress aggression it's to figure out who's going to attack so these guys have a very low aggression so and and both sides would roll a die and uh, a die six and it's all die six based and then um, <clears throat> uh, whoever has the highest roll would be the aggressor and, and away you go uh, it would be attacking the other person would defend his set up def train so on and so forth and then it shows you the enemies and then uh, usually has like a little historical uh, blurb about them and then you also need to have a, an encampment and I just use something I think is a I can't uh, pronounce their word right but they're an extremely uh, popular Bedoa or B uh, anyways I could probably look it up ah just some medieval tent I'm like whatever and you can see I just popped them in there so for these guys let's and then so I wanted to get um, yeah, I'll zoom in again. Um, so what I wanted to do essentially was get um, an army that was uh, one of the enemies of the store bought, uh, the eBay bought um, Serb um, Ser uh, Serbians that I had. So I decided, well, let's go and get the 469 Albanian. I think yet again, <laughs> it's probably because it's the cheapest. But I bought this from Essex as an army pack, and it was uh, ironically um, Tony Aguilar on DBA fanatic. Fanaticus forum, which I should post in the in my uh, description thing, that um, is an awesome forum if you're into DBA. My God, it's so active, it's amazing. It's yeah, that's where you go. I'm sorry, but that's where you go if you want to get into DBA. Um, it, it, ironically, he was the one who mentioned because I had a problem with the army list. So what, uh, basically, you can go and purchase. Uh, you know, they have a package say, uh, saying, "Okay, we've got all the enemy, uh, all the figures that you would need. You don't have to go shopping around and you know individually a la carte kind of thing." Uh, even though afterwards, Tony Aguilar is saying, um, "Friends don't let friends buy Essex army packs because I guess they were notorious at the time of having mistakes, especially I guess probably due to the fact there was a big." Uh, changeover. It was, I think DBA 2.0 was around for a long time. Then when it shifted over to 3.0, all these miniature manufacturers had already set up their little army packs, you know, that way. And it was like, oops. Um, so that's the way it goes. So anyways, let's go quickly and I'll show you who I did. Obviously, everybody you're going to see has been painted deco art. Oh, I painted these guys ages. Deco art, no shading, no highlighting, no air, none of that. Whatever. So, uh, anyways, let's go, and I'll, I'll quickly uh, show you the uh, the guys. I like them, and it was neat to yet again re read up a little bit on the history. And uh, why I'm uh, uh, on a side note showing the Albanians? Well, because one of my friends happens to be the Prince of Albania. 
in my game. So there you go. So this is the, uh, so for, uh, book 469, you can, um, you have to have a cavalry general or a light horse general. So this is my cavalry general. I like him. I think he looks cool. And I don't think the Albanian flag was that back then, but, uh, such is life. Um, and then this is if I wanted to have the light horse variant. So there's my king. Uh, the prince. Actually, there is was a prince. I can't darn it. I can't remember his name. I've got some uh, side notes. He was a, a little, it seems like an interesting little rascal. Then there's four light horse. This is an army list that would, uh, you. I think, you, uh, as far as I know, you'd have to be very skilled at playing DBA and maybe a bit lucky because um, it's not an effective, uh, it's not a giant killer of a whatever. And gosh, I hope this works. So there's, um, yeah, gosh, I painted these ages ago. Maybe I should just put them down I don't know um, or we'll grab it but anyways there's my four light horse um, they're nice it's got that yeah, I like them and uh, there's another one a little basing guys interesting hats eh and uh, very shiny yeah mr. high gloss <laughs> oh my goodness I couldn't give an F I love it uh, and then uh, my four skirmishers or siloy or whatever. There you go. So they turned out okay. I like these guys. I just like their robes or whatever the heck they are. So, oops. Sorry, I'm not looking. Maybe I'll have to do like a panorama <laughs> or something. Oh, Lord of mercy. Oh, uh, no, these are still good. I'm, uh, I did do a, I, I did start screwing around a little bit. You'll see what I mean. So here's the one where I say I start screwing around a little bit. So you're supposed to do a uh, another uh, skirmisher siloy or siloy. I don't have it, so I don't have the full-on uh, what I should be doing. Uh, or um, I need a fast a crossbow. And he's, here are the crossbow figures that came with uh, the Essex pack. I just didn't like them. To be honest with you, so um, yeah, I'll have to do maybe a pan around. I'm sorry about this. So I didn't. I just, eh, I just wasn't into it. So I, I said, you know what? I'm going to go and use some other uh, things. It doesn't matter. So these are long bowmen, but they have the same uh, long bow and crossbow are the exacts. There's no difference whatsoever except for their pose and and the way they're spelt. Uh, basically in DBA, there's no difference. So I was like, you know what? I prefer that look, so screw you. That's the way it goes. Uh, also, this one here is another one. This this is a uh, fast ox, I do believe. And I didn't, I don't know where my other guys are, but I didn't like the look of them. Uh, they're downstairs, I'm not going to go get them. So instead, I went and grabbed these guys. I know they're Ottoman type looks, but I just preferred the look of them. The other ones, yeah, I just wasn't impressed. And then uh, the other one I need is um, a solid blade, uh, a fast horde, or a, or a knight. So here's the solid blades that came with them, and I didn't like them either. So, um, I and this is probably way ahistorical because they're probably like old medieval dudes or whatever. But, uh, and I don't, yet again, I don't even know what the flag is. I just repainted these. These are store-bought guys, I've, uh, like pre-painted guys, and I just went over them again. I said, screw this. Uh, and uh, transformed them into my pseudo um, if I wanted to have a solid blade um, Albanian guys. And these are my fast horde. I like these guys. And like I said, I paint so slow. And even though I painted these things, I don't know how many years ago, uh, I do remember painting uh, bits and pieces. I remember painting these. And these are the knights, which I think are really nice. I love, oh, there's so many, like that color there, that burnt orange. Oh, like Jesus, I love that thing. It is a nice color. And there's, um, I think that's a, not antique white, but it looks pretty darn close. So... But that's a sweetheart too. And then I also asked later on, I was like, oh, let's just keep on trucking because I've got, I think that this came with extra figures or something, but I like these guys too. I, you can't use them, but um, I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll have an extra whatever. So that's it. I'll do maybe a quick um, zip around or something, or I don't know. I'm sorry if this doesn't uh, turn out very well. I'll try to. 
So that's it. Uh, like I said, I just kind of wanted to show, um, I don't, like I said, I don't even know if this is turning out very well. Um, well, let's hope for the best. Okay, see you later.